Hey, what's up? What are you doing there? Nothing much. Yeah? yeah. I'm about to go and study web development for like two hours or so. Okay, but please don't tell me you're going to study tutorials again. No. Okay. I want you to find a job finally. Three years, Christian. Yeah, but I'm trying my best. I'm doing my best every single day. I'm, I'm coding, you know? Okay, go and study. Okay, I'll go. Fuck. What am I actually <sighs> fucking doing? Ten hours. This should cover everything. I should become an expert web developer after this. But I promised I'm not gonna watch any more tutorials. <sighs> Fuck. Hey, what are you doing? Are you watching tutorials again? No! No! That's it, Christian. I'm tired of it. I'm leaving you. Today I want to talk about the three skills that you need to become a high paid developer, okay? If you learn these three skills, you'll become a master at front-end development. Obviously, it's not gonna happen overnight, like most gurus are telling you. It's gonna take some time, but if you have these uh, concepts in mind while you're going through this journey as you are learning code, you're gonna get way further ahead than anyone else. If you wanna learn programming because you wanna make six figures, you wanna travel the world working remotely, whatever you wanna do, maybe you wanna sit at home in your pajamas, this video is gonna be for you, okay? So what are those three secrets that I wanna share with you? The first one is styling, okay? You need to learn how to style. You need to learn how to use HTML and CSS properly. The thing is with HTML and CSS is that nobody cares about your HTML and CSS skills unless you don't have them, okay? It's like going on the street and you have some pants on, right? You go to the restaurant, you go on the street, you go to the bar, whatever. Nobody cares if you have your pants on. Nobody cares, everyone has pants. But if you don't have pants, well, people might think you are crazy, police might take you and put you in jail, you might get kicked out from the bar or from the restaurant, okay, so it's pretty bad. So you need to learn how to use HTML and CSS properly. That's like a given. That's not like something that you can negotiate with. Most people jump into like bootstrap, material UI, tailwind straight away without having a proper understanding of how to structure the HTML, how to structure the CSS, how to style things properly. So if you really wanna get ahead of the curve, put a lot of time and effort into learning how to use HTML and CSS, okay? This is gonna pay you dividends in the future. The next secret that I wanna share with you is debugging. No no matter at what level you are as a developer, you will be debugging quite a lot. I would say 90% of your time that you have to spend coding will be spent debugging. 90% of your time at work, or maybe let's say 70% of the time that you spend at work will be in meetings and discussing and doing other things not related to coding, scrolling on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram, whatever. But you have that 30% of the time when you'll actually be coding, maybe one, two hours per day. 90% of that time is gonna be spent debugging. So what is debugging? Debugging is pretty much understanding where your code breaks or how your code actually works. Most of the time you'll be writing some code or you will be onboarded into someone else's project and someone else wrote some code and you need to understand how that code works. So you need to learn how to look at every single piece of code, every single line of code. And once you understand it, you'll be able to figure out where it breaks or where you can optimize or where you have to actually start putting in your own work, your own code. This part of debugging, it's usually quite frustrating if you don't know what you're doing and it takes the most amount of time. The best way to get really good at debugging is by watching someone else that's better than you debugging, okay? Because you, when you're a beginner, you are working with like very small applications, very contained kind of things, maybe 30 lines of code, maybe 50 lines of code 
code or whatever and you think you are like really good but recently I had someone applying for a consultation call with me a bootcamp grad that uh, has a job for like three months now and he's been onboarded into a project and the lead developer from that company left and he's now the lead developer the problem that he has is that this lead developer wrote extremely complicated code and because he did not get trained in his company and he did not get trained enough in his bootcamp he doesn't know how to debug so now he has to debug like a 2000 line file for example a custom hook that's what he told me and imagine how difficult that is if you don't have the skills if you don't know how to even start reading that file if you don't know how to break it down so the faster you learn how to debug and the faster you understand how data comes in and how data comes out the faster you'll be at understanding other people's code and you'll be able to uh, be on board quickly you'll be able to deliver quality applications and if you deliver quality applications and if you write good code then guess what you'll get paid more the last thing that you need is to understand how to manipulate data and i'm not talking about data manipulation like what mark zuckerberg does with facebook i'm talking about manipulating arrays and objects in particular pretty much everything that you see on the web is either an array or an object most of the time 95 percent of the time that's what you're looking at so for example if you pull up instagram you'll see your stories up those stories are arrays of objects each story from there with an icon that's an object and if you click on that icon you'll get into an array of multiple videos okay so each video is then an object if you go on your feed every single thing every single post from your feed it's an object inside an array which the whole feed it's an array and then once you go into the comment section the comments are an array and each person that's commenting there it's an object and then you have replies you need to learn how to look at any kind of ui and you need to learn how to manipulate those objects those arrays that are coming in because you know some people they they have a very superficial understanding they that they got from tutorials and uh, from courses and stuff like that and they never learn how to manipulate the data properly so they are very very superficial the problem is that when you're gonna get a job you're gonna have extremely complicated data so for example you might have one array that's coming in from here another array that's coming in from here then you have an object over here then you have some number over here and then you need to create from all those data structures some other data structure that you're gonna show on the screen if these things are sounding very like far from where from where you are right now I understand but you have to focus a majority of your time understanding these things actually when I coach people most of the time that I spend is with these things because I understand that if you know how to manipulate data you can make a lot of money there is no way around it so as much as you are trying to run away trying to get better at HTML and CSS or whatever if you really want to make the good money yes you need HTML and CSS yes you need to learn how to debug but you also need to learn how to manipulate data if I could say bet on one thing that's gonna make you the most amount of money that's gonna be it manipulating data understanding state and things of that nature that's pretty much the video these are the three secrets that i believe every single front-end developer should know in order to become a highly paid developer and if you need help with becoming a highly paid developer you can apply for a free consultation call with me i'm currently offering a six months money back guarantee what does that mean for you well if you join the program and if you do what i'm telling you to do and if you don't get any results from it if you don't make any progress if you are if you literally start from the same position as day one then i'm gonna give you all your money back okay i do this because i know my program is literally the best thing out there if you want to become a highly paid react developer i do that so i can pretty much remove all the risk from you okay so if you are thinking oh i don't know if this is gonna work for me trust me it's gonna work so if i say yes to you if i accept you into the program that means i know for sure i can help you out so if i tell you to do something and if you do it and you don't get the result i'm gonna give you all your money back no questions asked so to do that apply for a free consultation call the link is in the description this offer will probably end at the end of this month june i'll see you in the next video Peace.